Your Excellency, we urge you to embrace dialogue and promotion of public participation to ensure all Kenyans contribute to the betterment of the nation. As a symbol of unity, as a symbol of national unity, we urge you to open doors for dialogue with the opposition and other citizens so as to end the current crisis. We urge you, Right Honorable Odinga, to ensure that all actions and pronouncements are, that you make are in accordance with the Constitution. Every Kenyan has a right to conscious and political opinion, and there are provision in the Constitution to guide the exercise of these rights. As a noble leader of this nation, we appeal to you to ensure that all, you, all, all, that all you lead operate within the confines of the Constitution. In this regard, we urge, we urge that you promote recognition and adherence to the Constitution and the laws of Kenya. It is not fitting for a leader to be seen to encourage lawlessness or to promise that cons constitutionally established offices can be abolished in the streets. We reiterate the call by religious leaders that you lead the Azimio La Umoja Coalition in identifying and recommending solutions to the problems Kenyans face to avoid creating the perception that the party promotes lawlessness. Rather than compounding the problems of Kenyans by calling for demonstrations, we recommend that you embrace dialogue with clear achievable targets so as to secure peace and national cohesion. Let us ex exhaust the channels provided for in the Constitution and the laws of Kenya before resorting to mass action. Message to His Excellency the President. Your Excellency, we commend you for the commitment you made to defend and apply the Constitution of Kenya in all your work when you assumed office six months ago. At the time, and on different occasions thereafter, you recognized the need to be for a strong opposition in the country to hold the government in check. It is in this context and in seeking to address the simmering conflict in the country that we request you to lead the government in adhering to the Constitution and the laws of Kenya in all operations, policies, and pro, uh, pro, pronouncements. As such, the government should provide space and freedom for all Kenyans to peacefully disagree with and even oppose the government. The provisions in the law for security agencies to provide security and directional guidelines for demonstrators should be adhered to. The use of lethal force resulting in deaths of demonstrators must be avoided at all costs and any persons who breach this should be held to account. We appeal to you, we appeal that you rivet the attention of the nation on the crippling drought and farming that continue to ravage the country, which has increased the cost of living radically. Kenyans are suffering, and their suffering is worsened by a government that is focused on politics, and we have asked the, the, the government to ensure that they protect the rights and the freedom of the press and the media. This is enshrined in our constitution, and therefore the, the orders that have been issued by the Communication Authority are unconstitutional, to say the least, and the freedom of media is guaranteed in the constitution. So we are urging that the Communication Authority receives their decision to manage and micromanage the media. Uh, I think the law is very clear on that. Rather than providing solutions.